So really, it's a, it's a point on the road, but does that one feel like a frustrating one for us? Yeah, it does. I think uh, we started the game well. Um, you know, went with a uh, with a back three and four midfield and um, and one and two strikers to try and press out the pitch and get after them, and it worked really well. We got on those in front. It was all us for the first fifteen minutes, and and then uh, Corey gets injured and has to come off with his groin. Um, you know, and we have to change because we didn't have another centre half available, so we had to change to a back four. And then from then on, I thought they uh, they were hard to, to play against but we always knew they're going to be a high possession based team very expansive and also that they've given chances away um, over previous weeks and goals so that if we were disciplined within the shape we could counter attack and uh, we didn't quite capitalise on that even though we had a couple of opportunities too but I said to the boys at half time we've just got to be disciplined stay in our shape and it's going to take something special to score against us then and, and fortunately for us it was a good strike from Jarvis yeah, you mentioned the changes. We're in force to make a few with, with injuries, both in the warm-ups and during yeah. the game. Um, is there any news on those lads? And also, that's one that's kind of out of our hands, I'm afraid, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, obviously, Vinny coming out, uh, being being injured. Um, then Johnny uh, feeling his knee in the warm-up. He's had to come out as well. And then uh, Corey's groin during the game. You know, this is part of football. We have, to, we have to find a way to get over it. You mentioned the discipline that was key today. Um, did it feel like the game plan was, was working and Brian said uh, it was a, a special goal to, to take it away from us? Yeah, and, you know, and I was a little bit frustrated because I thought we defended very well and we kept in our shape. We didn't, we didn't jump out of it. We were disciplined and, uh, you know, it was always going to take a, a good strike uh, to beat us. And uh, he, he just checks in on his right foot and, Balls wobbled and moved a couple of times in the air and gone in the top corner from 23, 24 yards. And you know, sometimes you've got to hold your hand up and say, Good strike, good goal. But um, it was frustrating for us in the end because having been 1 0 up away from home, I thought we, we played the perfect away game until then. Our goal came from Ryan Hill, his first of the season. Yeah. It was a good move. And how important is it for him to start scoring for all the players on the pitch, not to just rely on our forward men? Yeah, exactly that. You know, we spoke about that. We need to we need to spread the, the goals around, and including defenders from set pieces, etc., for the centre halves. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased for Hilly because he works hard. He's, um, he's he's played in a position today um, that he likes to play in in the ten, and then we, get, we have to move him after 15 minutes. Um, but I'm pleased with Jake Essie for today coming coming in, worked very hard. It wasn't really a game for him to today as far as we're we're out of possession for, for long periods of the game and, and Jake's all about in possession, but he showed today that he can do that side of the game as well. It was like I said, we needed a textbook away performance and almost got it. It'll be the same again on Tuesday night, won't it away at all the shot in the Hampshire Derby. Yeah, different type of game. Um you know, they'll be looking their wounds, they've lost today to Wildstone, so um they'll be wanting to um get a win at home in the Hampshire Derby like you say and uh, a different type of team to what we face today but I was just saying to the boys in there part of the challenge is facing different teams week in and week out and um, our job as a group of staff is, and, and for the players is to find a way to be successful within that each week and uh, um, they're, they're a decent team there'll be a lot of teams that come in and lose so uh, fair play to them but we look our wounds and move on and lastly, we, we mentioned it for every long away day, but this is the longest of the season. Fair play to the fans for making the trip. Uh, do you know what? I was actually surprised how many that was there when I came out, and you know, I made sure we took the players over afterwards to just thank them for for travelling all that way. It's it's a hell of a way, and the expense, as I've said before. And uh, fair play to them, and we appreciate that. So uh, I think the boys uh, tried their best to get a result today, but. Um, They'll be disappointed like we are, I suppose, that we've been winning the game and ended up just coming away with a point. But for me, it stops our, our poor run away from home. Um, we've got something away from home now and now we can build on that and uh, hopefully we can do that on Tuesday. Thank you.